So I'm replacing the bearings and the guts inside these rollers. So in order to do so, I need to get a bunch of the raceways for the bearings out. I need to get the old bearings out, and so I need to take this cap off. So I'm doing that, and these caps are really hard to get off. So what I'm doing is I'm using this torch right here to heat this up. I'm gonna get this hot, and then when it's hot, I'm gonna try to get it off with a chisel and with a hammer. I think I did this on the very first roller that I was working with, or working on, uh, a week or so ago. So these are the rear rollers, and the groove rollers that roll in the front, those were, oh my gosh, very difficult to get the, the, the bearing raceways out of there. So check this out, guys. So see the grease, how it's uh, melting in there? Whoa! Just burned my dead cat. Wow. So I just burned the microphone dead cat. There's a big windscreen on here. And that flame on there burned it, kind of singed it. Okay, so now that I've got it really hot, I'm just using this chisel and putting it in that groove right there. And I'm gonna try to get this thing to pop and come loose. About have it off. So see that? It should be really hot. So there's a seal there, a bearing, a bearing raceway. There's supposed to be a seal right here. I don't see it though. There's supposed to be a seal right there that we're not seeing. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and heat it up. So there's that. That's pretty dang hot. So now I wanna do the same thing. Try to get this little cap off the same way. Oh man, that one was tough. So you can see right here, there's a seal that's here. That has to come off and then there's another seal inside here that has to come off. A bearing inside there. There's a lot of junk in there, I tell you. Just amazing how old and rusty all of these parts are. So this system's 15 years old and I can tell that it has been neglected. The maintenance just kind of hasn't been done as often as it should have been. And I can understand why. This has been a serious project, just getting the reels off and getting these rollers off and kind of refurbishing these rollers. Oh my gosh, it has been a project. So I've got this little wire wheel thing on my drill. I'm gonna kind of put it in here and clean this out right here. Get all the burrs off of here. I see quite a few burrs right there and that's not good. So that looks significantly better. I've got kind of a lot of pitting and frost right here. Kind of looks like it's actually supposed to right there. Looks good though. So I'm happy with the way those turned out. That's two of six. So once I get these things totally cleaned up, all six of them, I can start putting things back together. So here's my box of goodies right here from the cutting unit. You can see the roller bearings here. I've got these adjusting nuts here, different hardware for assembling the cutting unit. I've got these type of things here. If you can see here, this is what holds the roller. If you can see, that's pretty well almost all stripped out. So that needs to be replaced. Uh, this one looks like it's pretty well stripped out as well. You can kind of see that it looks stripped out. 
Uh, that one is on its way to being stripped out, but it's still okay and salvageable. I think I'll keep that one. And that one, I guess, should be okay as well. So I've got two that need to be replaced and two that I will keep. Uh, once I get all the parts kind of cleaned up and all the parts taken off these cutting units, I'm going to sand them down and kind of clean them all up and then I want to paint them. So this is taking a lot longer than I originally anticipated it would and I probably should have started this a little bit sooner than I have, but I need to get going on these cutting units so I can have them ready to cut when the grass starts growing. So quick update on the John Deere mower. I took the parts in to get them painted. That is going to cost a pretty penny to get that done. And he's gonna have those parts for a month. So I'm not gonna see that. I'm not gonna work on that machine for about a month. So that's kind of the update on that machine. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to continuing working on this. It's gonna come together nicely. It just needs a lot of TLC and a lot of work, but I'm up for the task and I'm gonna make it happen. So that's it. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.